So, you guys were, uh, you know, joking. And, you know, no chance AB goes to the Patriots. Look what we have here. And I have Anton here because it's just too much for one person to handle, you know? <laughs> it's just always the Patriots, man. They are yeah. the end all. They have ruined the NFL. I demand <laughs> that Roger Goodell removes them from the league. Yeah. They need to add a new team to that freaking division. They Like, oh send Lord. the Dolphins over maybe to the AFC South and switch the Texans. Boom. Done. Done. Just anything, figured it man, out. Anything. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, what, a $15 million deal. Technically, he has to earn the six. But $9 million yeah, versus so the got- 30 he would have had. He got his thirty million voided by the Raiders, and the Patriots gave him a nine million dollar signing bonus, and then uh, it can be up to fifteen million for like snaps played and all that, which he, he'll play because yeah. he's probably. I'd imagine he's the number one receiver on that team now. Well, number one, Edelman will still technically be the number one because like yeah. he just loves him. There's no such like his son, the number one receiver in New England True. since like Randy Moss. Oh God. I uh, like just, how is that even fair? I don't know. He's obviously not going to play tomorrow versus the Steelers or anything, but it's just going to be so funny to see him on the sideline. If it was literally like he isn't ready, oh, he's coming on the field, but since he literally can't, okay, fair enough. Cuz like there's no way he would miss that game if if he yeah. literally could play, like he would literally they would just have him run like a slant or something, whatever <laughs> they could to get him on the field. I uh, I was talking to you about before we started the recording how uh, everyone thinks this is a big conspiracy that he's acting like a lunatic because New England's been setting this up for some time now since last year. I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, there's enough, definitely a lot going on in that, that organization. You don't come up with nine million guaranteed, fifteen million in incentives. Those contracts take a while, man. It seems like they've had yeah. this one waiting in the wings. It's all in the. <clears throat> Not going to accuse the Patriots of cheating because they would never do that. But They never no. cheat. The thing is, no. like, his agent wouldn't be in on it because, like, he would never want AB to take that low of money, obviously. I don't know. So if they voided his contract, um, if, like, none of this ever happened, he just plays for the Raiders this year, he gets his $30 million. But, like, if he was on the roster week one, I believe there's a way for them to void the money or something. I don't know the exact details of it, but... If he was on the roster during the week one game with the voided money, he was not going to be making any money at all this year. Huh. So it kind of, the timing seems to work out perfectly for Antonio here. It seems kind of weird. It, it, I don't know. It just seems all. It's odd. Yeah. It's like, so funny. Oh, that's so Everyone like jokes. cheap. Everyone like, on, you know, on Twitter, all over the NFL. I even this morning I was watching NFL Network and Mike Garofolo was like, oh yeah, everyone's going to joke. He's going to go to the Patriots. He went <laughs> to the Patriots. Uh, I heard they had no money. Where, Where's this no money? It sure seems like they had enough money. The never-ending cycle of the Patriots taking people that no one seems to want and making them phenomenal. And you like, AP's already really freaking yeah. good. This isn't like a Josh Gordon thing where everyone's given up on him. This is like they're getting an absolute superstar for Brady in the throat. Isn't, so, so who's their, their starting lineup is AB, Josh Gordon, and Edelman now? I believe Philip Dorsett's still there. If I'm uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Could Phillip they Dorsett, like I think not they resign Dorsett? Uh, it's gonna be, and they resigned Demarius Thomas. Oh yeah, and Nikhil Harry went on. <laughs> They've got weapons, man. But Patriots fans will still tell us Brady has no weapons. No. On oh, oh my lord, I really hope it's not a conspiracy, and I hope AB really is as bad as he seems, and it just completely <laughs> implodes on them. Oh my! But God, I highly doubt it will. That. Um, and all. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like um, they'll have Gronk come out of nowhere and just spike AB and then just send him into the oblivion and like, boom, AB's gone. Like, just wait for week 13 when Gronk comes out of retirement and the Patriots put up 65 points in a playoff <laughs> game on the Chargers. <gasps> oh, God. There's no way Gronk right now isn't calling them up no, saying, no way hello. It's just, that's another joke that people like you, to joke about. That'll probably yeah, un- happen. Yeah, another joke. Randy Moss is coming out of retirement this year. I mean, this just it like, was, I was literally in a freaking legacy fr- franchise game and you sent it to me. I thought you were just joking. Like no, at the time. No, I, <laughs> no, I messaged, 
I messaged you. I was like, all right, there's way too much to talk about. Get in a call with me right now. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was looking. To say. <laughs> I was looking. I was like, wait, is he talking about doing like an experiment video or something? I was like, okay, I guess we'll <laughs> do that if he wants. But then I look on Google and I was like, oh, oh God. and I just started running the yeah, ball with just... chew clock on. And, <sighs> and here we it's are. So unfortunate. I wouldn't say their most hated rival. It's not. I'd say out of the division, their most hated rival, they get a uh, AB. He went to he went the James Harrison route. No idea. They just <laughs> they just posted the video on Twitter of AB when he got the text that he was being released. The dude's a nutcase. If anyone who's watching, he sprints outside, starts waving his hands in the air and like imitating a bird flying around his grass. The dude. <laughs> that sounds about as normal as anything Antonio Brown does. I think Montez Perfect really like made the CTE kick in a few years. ago. Probably, probably. Uh, oh yeah, there's another thing I suppose is uh, the Patriots will probably get a comp pick a comp for Brown. Pick. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. He'll have a thousand yards, ten touchdowns. They'll get a third round off of him. They'll get more than the Raiders will get, and they actually got him to play because the Raiders technically oh, lost. <laughs> they <gave laughs> <They'll> get... <laughs> yeah, that that's a crazy turn of events because you know Patriots fans, Steelers fans are like, we told you, we told you, haha, your problem now. And now and he now becomes he's... an even bigger superpower on the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Now he's your problem again. Seems like every year the Patriots either start out slow or hit like that lull. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens this year when that comes around. If like AB starts throwing Gatorade bottles at Bill <laughs> Belichick. <Bellic. laughs> or he goes for 100 know. yards every single week and we all cry. He really could in that <laughs> offense. That's the thing, though. You knew if he was going to play somewhere, it was going to be a contender because he just wouldn't play yeah. for a bad he team, even if it was. Too. Like, the Raiders, not great. The Steelers, he gave them a lot of years, but they never really did anything. Did they ever get past, no, they ever got past the AFC Championship game, obviously. And, uh, uh, yeah, I guess he just wants a ring, and the Patriots gave him guaranteed money, which he already wanted, so... Because clearly if it was, suppose. like, obviously he wants the money, but if it was clearly only about the money and he didn't care what team it was, he would have either not went, you know, he would have went somewhere other than the Raiders, or he would have just stayed in general. Well, he got traded to the Raiders, didn't he? Well, I yeah, mean, but, I uh, like... He facilitated the trade, but, like, they were really rich in cap space. I'm pretty sure what how many times they tried to get him to the Bills and he just wouldn't go. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> how many people have actually been oh, tried to get traded Bills. to the Bills? Like, and no, they're like, nah, sorry. So you're not doing it. Bills lost out on AB this offseason. Now they get to play him twice a year. Uh, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> so of they fun. didn't really lose out on him, did they? <laughs> you well, still get to see him. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I mean, I really don't know what else to say. Like, it's just, no, we've been over I'm it. Antonio Brown screwed over the Raiders and uh, Roger, screwed over the rest of the AFC East. Do something. <laughs> yeah. Once in life. Do something. He was actually the middleman oh, on the trade. I was going to say. So even if they even if they did find out that there was tampering or something, what are you gonna do? Take away a draft pick? He's still on the team, so like yeah, that's needs it. To be new rules. There needs to be a new. Uh, they should be able to just force him to retire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imagine there's like, nah, he can't. He can't come back. <laughs> Sorry. Suspend all the helmet types he wants to wear. Oh, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Like I feel bad for Raiders fans because they really. I mean, it's not like. The Raiders tried yeah. to do something. They tried to get a guy. They're like, okay, this guy's a bit of a problem. We can get him for a third round. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. You know, it's worth the Did risk. Did you hear the phone call that he posted? Yeah. Was like, Gruden, like, even, you know, Gruden was trying to be nice and everything. And, you know, trying to reason him with him. But then AB's just so far gone. He's just like, cut yeah. the shit and play football. And Like, that's the thing. Gruden was, like, such a fan. Like, he didn't even seem I like know. a coach. Even he was just a, a, he was a fan. Like... <laughs> Even today, when, like, after he was released, he said he's just really misunderstood. Like, cool, but he's still got to not yell at your GM. And <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's he misunderstood pulls... at all. I think we all understand him. Agreed. If he pulls, I'm, I doubt he pulls anything like that in New England. There's no way. He's got to know if he's running low on chances here. If the Patriots give up on you, man. Not many. I mean, there's places you can go, but obviously not to his liking. I feel that's enough of the AB story. Probably. I would assume Hopefully. we're not going to hear anything for the next little while. Hopefully. <laughs> I thank yeah. you for coming on. Oh, Thanks, God. man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And, I mean, uh, that's God a... help the NFL. Take care, Lados.